Hey guys, uh, what's going on? Today we're going to uh, do a final review and a fishing review of the fish hog unboxing I did a few weeks ago, or about a week ago. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out first. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the full review of those. So the first review I did on was the uh, fish hog coontails. Again, if you haven't seen the video, go ahead and check it out. Um, coontails work great, man. Got three good fish. Uh, excellent, excellent bait. I'm definitely going to order myself another bag of those. Uh, so check out the videos and see how they worked. All right, guys. So I had just gotten a hit right off the bank here. Uh, what I do is I'll there's actually a cement um, piece that that is off from. Um, about three feet off from the from the bank concrete it's probably only about six to eight inches deep so I'm casting right along there about three feet out from the edge and working it and I just got a hit and I cast it right back out where I was uh, originally fishing and um, just working that that uh, coontail real slow letting that tail float um, just pretty much finesse rig um, finesse working it uh, worked really well out there uh, early morning that red bug color I think it was two or three pops um, before you see that I got the bite again. Uh, and again, I'm working it slow, letting it sit for 10 or 15 seconds, giving it a few more pops, letting it sit, and that tail really floats floats good in the water column. Uh, I believe it's after this here. I set it. You can see the splash maneuver around it. My line is moving. I wait a second, reeling up. I set the hook. Got a good hook up this time. Uh, Worked them in. Fortunately, I didn't have my scale with me. Um, otherwise, I would have uh, weighed them up. But I'm going to guess one and a half to two pound little bass there. Uh, it's funny because this place has given me trouble a few times. And uh, man, I ended up catching three bass with uh, with those uh, fig fish hog coontails. So they work really well. Go ahead and let this uh, let y'all watch the rest of this video and get to the next one. Again, I'm working with uh, I'm using the P line <laughs> CXX 12 pound. Uh, it's the extra strong, uh, abrasion resistant, extra tough, fluorocarbon or copolymer fishing line. Um, I really like it. it uh, it's the first time I've ever had it. It's got low memory. Uh, I just recently put it on that rod and reel. I had a, uh, I had braid on it because it was the only rod and reel I was using pretty much for everything. But as you can see, I put down my other rod and reel. That's the uh, Omen Green with a Daiwa Coastal 100 reel on it. But uh, I was looking for my scale here and couldn't find it. I'd take a few pictures anyway. But like I said, again, I'm using the P-Line CXX 12-pound copolymer line. Uh, I have a 132nd weight, warm weight, or slip weight, and uh, using a Mustad 3 um EWG a worm hook. Uh, again, I love these coontails, man. I was just working at Finesse like that. I'd like to try it drop shot it is probably fantastic too but that tail right there at the end just floats up and makes really good movement in the water I mean it really really looks nice uh, I was really impressed by their uh, by that lure I'll definitely be ordering a few more so here in this next video here uh, 
I had just gotten another hit again, just like the previous fish, and uh, talking to my buddy who's across the uh, pond right there. And again, it hit it three or four times real quick and then let go. Um, so again, I casted it right back out, worked it slow again. And if you can notice, I got the slack in my line. When I'm fishing Texas rig or worms, I always leave a little slack in my line. Um, and you can pretty much see it here. I'll drop my line down, and when that slack starts to tighten up, uh, that's when you know you got something. See my line running? Here it goes. Line's on. I reel in. Wait for them. Set the hook. Got a great hookup. Um, as you can see, when the fish comes out, I got them right in the corner of the mouth. Um, they were really, really liking that red bug color that, that early in the morning. Two on um, fish hog. But that was it. That was the second fish on the on the fish hog, coontails, red bug color, floating tails. Um, again, a fantastic, fantastic worm uh, for for where I'm fishing and how I fish. I, sometimes I like to fish slow like that, but uh, great, great worm. I would definitely suggest people go out there and get them. Uh, it's a smaller little fish, but hey, it's a fish, right? And. Uh, We'll get another good release out of this one. And on to the next. So this last fish, um, I got the hook up really quick. I had, again, gotten a bite. Yeah, it feels like they just want to kind of test it out first, and I casted it right back uh, to that rock that you can see. And uh, he hit it the next time immediately. I mean, I didn't even pop it once, and he hit it. Uh, these things work great. I just can't get over how, how well they work. Uh, this day I wanted to try, I was testing all four of the lures I got from Fish Hog and uh, I just finally lost my bait on this guy. So three fish, six bites, one bait, and I think he only knocked it off because he was flopping around there in the bank. But um, I went out that day fishing with all the lures from Fish Hog and trying to hook up um, one fish per lure. So I got three on the coontail, um, caught multiple on the on the chubbies, the triple chubbies, and then um, caught one fish on their uh, slapstick. Didn't catch anything on the frog. It was a little bit more difficult, but um, it it just conditions weren't right for me, I guess that day. But I'll definitely go out and fish those again um, because they're just. I mean, I, I I'm I'm a believer now with fish hog lures, man. That they had a good spring sale. I went and bought a few baits and decided to review them myself and try them out and let you guys take notice on how well they work and maybe give them a little business and, and buy a few. Um, we'll let this guy go and watch the rest of the videos. So after those fish, I uh, went ahead and switched over to the triple chubbies. Um, it's the little grub tail. Excellent, excellent bait, man. I mean, it fantastic, durable, worked really, really well for those crappie. Um, uh, let's check out these videos and um, see how that little trip went with the uh, triple chubbies. All right, folks, I didn't get it on camera, unfortunately, but that's the second fish on the fish hog. This was the uh, chubbies, triple chubbies. Um, about my fourth or fifth cast with it, a little crappie here. One eighth jig on the head, just working it slow. Got ourselves a little paper mouth. That's it right there. Tiny little crappie. Swallowed it though. Nice. So that's two fish on the products. I just need two more. And uh, I switched off from the paddle tail one. It was pretty tough fishing out here. Water's pretty, pretty clear on the top, dark on the bottom. Colors of dark pumpkin, so throw this little guy back. Alright, it seems like the crappie have started biting. Just missed another one. Right at the bank again. So what I'm doing is I'm just casting it out, reeling it back real slow, letting it sink a little bit, and then real slow. This uh, combo I'm using is a Hank Parker design combo. Um, it's a five to one reel, so it's a little bit slower reel. Let's see if we can get ourselves another little crop in here. Keep seeing them pop the top of the water. There we go. Nice. We got here 
another crappie. So I told you, these guys are really liking this bait. It's pretty strong bait, too. Um, pretty durable, just running it real slow. These little paper mouths are getting it. They're fun, man. Hope we can catch a couple big ones. school of them right up here. Same spot pretty much. Again the chubby. There's 129 for 20 of them. Pretty good deal. You can't get a bigger one. I've seen the bigger ones hitting the top. school right here along this weed line and they're just slamming it. I started off fishing, catching sandfish with my dad as a kid. I mean I can't I mean these things are just fun to catch. I was really excited to use that bait and man, it's working great. Let's see if we can't get another one right there. Last but not least was the slapstick. Um, I had gone out earlier that morning with the croaker and I just could not, I couldn't catch anything, man. It was, uh, conditions just weren't right for it, but I'm going to redeem myself and I'm going to get that croaker on video and get some uh, fish hit in that top water. But until then, check out the um, slapstick and again, go get yourself a fish hog lures, man. They're excellent. All right, everybody, out of the new spot. Three for three with those uh, fish hog lures. This one's that slap stick. Got them right in the side of the mouth. Nice one here. All right, we'll let her go. Uh, this this one worked. I just reeled it in kind of slow, and then speed it up, slow it down. That uh that paddle tail really slapped around. Got him. Hope everybody enjoyed the videos. Um, again, stay tuned. Um, I'm planning on doing a giveaway here in the next couple of weeks. Probably do a little couple bags of lures for springtime coming up. Maybe some lizards, crawfish, things like that. So stay tuned. Um, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, channel just going to get better and better. So we'll see y'all next time.